close, may not be as competitive, but Ents need this victory or a tie versus Giants in order to guarantee themselves in that grand final spot. Yeah, if they if they do, I mean, luckily they're going up against Giants, but also they've had to play everyone else already. So yeah. they go up against Giants right now. If they win this match, that's it. They're locked in, and we'll see that Astralis Ents grand finals um, that we missed out on at Sao Paulo. And unfortunately for Giants, we find this match unfolding on Overpass, which of the four, or th excuse me, yeah, four maps we've seen from them this weekend, you know, Nuke looked great. Dust2, okay. Overpass, they kind of got stomped by even the Movistar Riders. So now they're facing a team who has looked lights out and just comes off a win versus Astralis. It's going to be hands full, but they're already man down and bombs denied. They got into the B site for free, but the flank so fast. These finicky fins were so hot on their heels that the body count just stacks up and Ants are going to take first pistol. No, no doubt about it. Uh, there was so many things that um, Giants could have done better on overpass. The, maybe the one thing is that they left it into the pool for some reason. Uh, it was also Movie Star's best map, and they didn't go ahead and ban that, even though they had the second ban. So I I wonder if they're they, they prepped it just to play against Movie Stars. Maybe they um, want to bring it into the pool at some point. But um, yeah, nothing nothing is nothing's really going to be easy against Ents. They have such a diverse map pool. So um, it's it you know I I I don't know what. What would have been that much better? If they were able to score another Dust2, maybe they get another chance at it. Um, but Dust2, Nuke, it, it, it'll all be tough. But here we stand. A round up for Ents in Antico where they've spotted a bunch of Ts. And they're kind of running this gobby strat down, um, clearing out the bathrooms, but just with blocks. And as the CTs have fallen back, they'll now rock it over to BX7, just getting some last information before trying to fall back. Just gonna pepper them with his MP9. Doesn't offer up more than 20 of his health. And then, as he gets back around that last corner, it's smoked, then Molotov. Poor, poor Giants really don't have a chance at this. Bomb engulfed in flames. And the last three T's set to be slain. X7 has nabbed four. And then Uterus dies last. Ariel's M4 not going to make as much money as the MP9, but Ents are rolling already. Single loss and $6.3,000 for X7 to rebuy. On a round like that, where you decide to go long first, clear out the top bathrooms, and go into the lower bathrooms, if nobody pushes long from the CTs, it's really easy, actually, to get the defense to push back off of bathrooms and then go to stairs. So it's a super good pistol strat since there's low utility, and there's not going to be that, like, couple of rifles in top uh, bathrooms that you have to go up against. And um, it's something nice you can do a lot of the times. And yeah, champion, I think, by uh, God B with big. Here it is. Op, pick. Oh, almost successful. Alu sees a little shoulder for free, but can't nab it off. And um, is that Alexi? It's kind of hard for me to see numbers from here. Alexi, yeah. Uh, or, or no, sorry, Sergey along. I thought that was six. It's Not an eight. Yog. And that number eight man picks up his kill. Fox walks into it. Playground, the first place. Casualty for the Giants. They're going to slowly keep working their way through the bathrooms. Smoke will eventually fade, but the CTs have fallen back and have now emphasized their A defense over on Long. You've got the op in Alu just kind of floating on the bomb site, looking to give some cover to Sergey if he needs it. But while Roman does head to the top of the washrooms just to kind of take a bit of a peek towards the tree, he sees nothing. They're going to regroup themselves fully on the washrooms. Muterus to lead the charge here, looking to create that space. He needs to topple the opera immediately as he exits out. There's already another player rotating inwards, and remember, Sergei's still anchoring long, so it's all from bathrooms, all four Ts. And with 30 seconds, they've got the bomb on site. Grenade's gonna do a bit of damage, but Kill Dream still able to plant and then retreat. After plants, non-existent on long because Sergei has held it this entire time. They don't realize how dumb this round is. There's a smoke for them to use. They can molly off one of the choke points. This will be so hard for the Cs to stop, especially with the long control. But it's a key kill comes in. Uh, bomb tap meant to pull them into the open. And as they do so, Opper drops the first body, grabs himself a second. We're going to get Alexi trying to defuse as it falls to only kill Dream. And he falls to the Opper as well. Good round here from Alu. Three kills 
as he just plucked them. They were forced to peek, and that's exactly what he wanted. Yeah, it's the fishbowl that is the bathrooms. That's why long control is so important, and they just never killed Sergey. Talked about that a lot of times with overpass. Like, you get the bomb down on A, but if you don't have long, you don't really have the best post plant position. Um, at least they do get the kill on him, but again, with no player there, it's so easy for the CTs to come out wide and fight everybody in the bathrooms, especially with that utility. Now, we did see Ants let the XQ come. They let all the smokes plume, and they didn't throw much counter utility. They just waited. Um, it looked like Alexi rolled a grenade at the, the guy who was planting the bomb, and apart from that, they just waited. And that patience is all they needed. They were ready to play for the post plant, and that kind of patience is important. That confidence that you will win the retake is really important because that's going to happen more than once. And now Giants are going to be terrified. They got everything they wanted out of the execute. was 4v5, but they kept all four remaining players alive when they got the bomb down, and they still didn't win. Three up from that round um, on Ents. And after a tack pause was called, a buy comes in. It's AKs here for Giants. Muterus has enough for a Galil and... Um, and just some utility. And they're kind of low. They'll probably have to keep these smokes for as long as possible. I think this is the kind of round where you fake that you're, you've are you got a lot to work with and you try to delay as long as possible without using grenades, just a couple of flashes here and there. But eventually, you just kind of want to get into your execute as soon as possible. It's a big map to run a default on with low nades. Having missed his first shot, Alu falls all the way back to the bomb site. Giants looking to reconvene towards B. Going to leave two in connector, as they have to ensure that the counter-terrorists haven't pushed off of B early. No short control currently for Ents. In fact, they're very much isolated to the bomb sites. Possibly letting these attackers take the site and then going for a retake similar to what we saw in the last round. Not trying to overextend, but if that's a frag grenade, it Ooh. could hurt. Timing comes out. Fox gets himself that first kill. Alexi just fumbling his grenades at the moment. Looks to block off ramp when two teammates behind him plant close. And oh, oh he no knows. Way. He kills him through the wall. Fox robbed, and there's the grenade. <laughs> Sails over, pushes Kill Dream into the one versus four, and he can't manage more than only one. Again, just letting Giants get that real estate, thinking they're safe enough to plant, and then shutting them down all out. Uh, we haven't seen ends apart from this game at the at, at last so far, but man, they look look super clean. These I love how long they're holding on to their grenades. They're comfortable letting these executes come. And because of the way like Astralis are always taking the B site, every team is staying back in the pit, back in CT spawn, waiting for the exec to come. They're deciding to just go for the retake on basically both sites yep. while staying inside, which is so cool. I like the approach. Oof. That one's gonna hurt. And this should too. Ariel close with the AK, just melting them. Ants on fire as fast as could be. This is exactly what Navi had going for them versus Giants on Dust 2. Full blown assault. I'd love to see what um, Giants can do about both A and B right now. Putting the bomb down is not enough. And um, even on that last B take, like Ariel comes through with this like really nice spam. And it must have been hard to hear and be able to kind of like echo locate exactly where the bomb was planted. So pulled off a super good spam and it was an atypical plant spot. Uh, now we're into round six. Just rifles again, something I like that Giants have been doing is just not, it's just getting all rifles. They have just lots of money all the time. These buy safe, buy safe situations. Majority of the attention from the attackers is in the stairs. Alexi has a pretty strong angle here, just shooting directly down into these players. Hard to flash, too. And if needed, spam from Ariel could certainly help. And the only thing he can only play this because he's got that massive amount of support above him. Right. This otherwise, be a very dangerous angle, but it's so strong. Now Alexi's going to begin to lurk out. I don't know if door's closed. See, very wary, understandably. Here's the footsteps towards water. Ariel's gonna fixate on Monster, gets himself one kill. Almost the second with Fox sitting on 5 HP. X7 tucks himself away, but it's Alexi coming in from short that's really hammering this home. It's not done just yet. Roman falls, and two of the three remaining Ents members are so low, just like Fox, who has to double back for Bomb with two players already prepared for him, but it looks like neither's watching this. 
They're both honing in on short. This is a good chance for Fox, but he's going to have to walk through smoke. And in doing so, he picks up the first kill, but not the second. Alexi slaps him down, and Entz will find six. Well played from every perspective, like the three-man setup outside the top of the stairs. And I love that Ariel doesn't overface from that wall. So many people just forget about the shadow advantage. They'll peek out a little bit too wide, they'll run in, get one kill, and instead wow. he stays there, he spams, he waits, and then he takes a second fight the exact same way. It doesn't freak out and, and wide swing just because he got that initial frag. Back on rifles once again. No bomb plant that round for Giants, but they still got money. Another aggressive A setup for the CTs, but they fall back off of that flash. Um, B and A, again, shut down on both sides. Big play from Alexi B last round as well. Picking up both of the players inside of short. Only had five health at the end, but still got it done. No longer nearby, of course. Defense at B falls onto both Ariel and X7. Trying to call out Ariel's position there. Oh, he only has one nade though. Well, it's off to block them off. The kill dream finds timing. Gets in before the utility. Drops Alexi, that primary rotator. Nice nade. Could have been far worse had it truly hit the mark. But now Alu's here. Looking to bolster this defense. T's have managed to get them out of Monster. And look at Fox go. Speaking of monsters, two killer headshots. And a four versus two for Giants. This is the best spot they've been in so far on overpass. But can Sergey and Alu claw their way back into it? Players directly beneath Heaven, one on the site, plus short and monster control. This is nice positioning from Giants. Molotov could burn one oh, into the bad. open. Yeah, you're right. Doesn't spread. Muter is content. Enjoys the heat. CT is going to get one, but then instantly responded by Roman, who doubles down with the final two kills. And sure enough, Giants on the board. Sergey knew he was going to die, but he wanted to go for the kill because they have maybe enough money, and they realize it's going to be tough for Giants to put together a solid buy uh, with so few people alive. Now, even though that Molotov, that well, incendiary missed its mark, there were so many good things that they did there with grenades, and they have just been putting really well-placed HE grenades. Um, Alu drops the bomb planter there. The uh, two players coming out of Monster will take 30, 40 damage initially. Fox still goes ahead and gets those kills, of course, because he's been so good. But Ence's utility usage it seems to be improving dramatically. It feels like they're tearing everything down, going back into it, um, and have really talked about things and watched demos. You can tell. This looks, looks awesome, for sure. I... Uh, I I thought, well, obviously Fox didn't get those kills. I don't know if they'd be able to win so True. easily. But um, but yeah, he managed them, and that's what it's going to take. Crisp, clean headshots. Fox providing them a plenty. We're going to have Alu behind Sergey. Turtles up and gets himself into position. Once more, Alexi's going to be looking to swoop down on these connector players if need be, but it looks like Giants are going to play this a little more patiently. Sit back and expect the hyper-aggression. Same setup here with um, Alexi top stairs. This time, yeah, last time Alu fell back on the flash. I was wondering if he's going to do the same thing or wait. Um, but yeah, they're, they're receding quite quickly. This is important, I guess, for Giants because they got flanked out of the stairs when pushing B. So this is a way they got rid of that. It's actually pretty smart overpass play from them right now. And they're calling out Ariel's position once again. See the double HDs, see how close they land to him. Not close enough, but still do some good damage. He nearly loses half his health. They've redirected, though. Patient. Initial setup towards Fountain, goes towards B, uses some utility. But check Ents, the rotate's already coming up. They have wind of this. And unfortunately for the Giants, just like last time they attempted to get their teeth sunk into the A site, they had no long control. Well, they do have Fox this time, but he's a little bit late to the party. 18 seconds up. Sergey's going to be fully exposed, though. That's a big difference. However, X7 could still claw his way back into it. Gets a kill of his own. 
Off on Alu, Ariel flashes in, just looking to deny the plant, but Fox gives cover. Here comes Alu with Muterus up close. He plants the bomb. One shot, and it's not going to connect. Giants doubling their rounds. Had to hit that one. Alu did the best he could, came in there through the smoke with Ariel. Obviously, Ariel dying too. May have just been a martyr, but I mean, more so if they had won the round. Unfortunately, they could not, and this came close. That, he spotted him just briefly, and the swing was just too good. Shot a bit too soon. And uh, Giants win the round. They had to get onto A with low grenades, so it was another beast that they had to deal with. But I actually liked it didn't wall themselves out because the last time that didn't work at all. Uh -oh. uh, that was one of those BS knives. He was he was actually in front of him. Um, and Luke Maluku. Good thing Fox came from long that round. Sergey was. Oh, they cleared, cleared out long that round. Yep. Yeah. It was a little delayed. I thought maybe because of the rush timing, it wasn't really going to, you know, play into it when it was very, very important. But uh, Fox, quick feet. Versus the pistols that are about to swarm around the fountain. Oh, they're all caught. Roman adding them to the tally. Flash assist and two kills with the op getting the last. So four survivors is great for Giants, starting to uh, get a little momentum of their own. I, I like... I like, again, how they went to clear the B site. The two nades landed at Ariel. They would have gone monster for sure, because that part of the map would have been hard to reflash. There's no short smoke to help the player go to the other side of the site. Um, and they, it, the, the nades, it was just a matter of luck. They didn't land that far, and they had to go back to A. But even when they went, went, went back to A, they had a good plan. So I really like how Giants are working and thinking right now, and they clearly have a lot of nades and stuff and adjustments that they can bring to the table. Kill Dream, quick pace. Delayed boost. Alexi could find timing, but speaking of timing, his teammate's flashbang blinds him. Good wow. grenade. Muter's like, nah, no, I'm not standing in that corner. <laughs> Poor guy's got 60 health. An alternative boost, round two. Alexi actually has vision, but hasn't been able to see anybody. Where's that pick come in? Long. Long A. Lots of passive ways to work, short control as we saw from the nade, from the boost. There's multiple boosts they can choose from. And reboosting is also a factor. Gun barrel sticking out of the AUG. That'll act, oh my god, Alexi! This goes back to where they made line, line up grenades and destroys him. Now Ariel close. Can't work the silenced M4 fast enough. Fox shotguns him with the off and now kill dream's gonna give cover but there's a player jumping over boxes in x7 kill dream trying his best to clamber back into it but he doesn't see him x7 under the guise of smoke seals the deal Ents takes seven box going huge man he has been hitting a lot of shots he's 10 and 9 but some um, um, really good impact and most people have had consi a considerable amount of deaths on the server whether it's you know giants dying basically every round or um Ents who have lost uh, a, a lot in a, a lot of these rounds. So the, the the rounds have been expensive at the very least, and it's reflected in the money that Ents have had l have left right now. It is could be the op in Alu's hands, um, but Giants have options. Really doesn't feel like they're out of this half yet. And I would just like to see where they take it because I feel like they can do more than one thing right now. There's no perfect play. There's no kind of gaping exploitable strat that they can use that they used before. Instead, it looks like their default is very strong. And Ents are not going for the full aggressive A setup this time. Slightly farther back, Alu attempts to dodge a flash. It's no good. Muterus takes a bit of damage on the spam. And Alu will have to hit the flick one more time. Where is he aiming exactly? He's almost in the wall. He's kind of between two angles, and there's about three T's. Yeah, that's Math a tough doesn't spot add to up. off. If they all peek him at the same time, if they can be simultaneous, could have been in for a world of hurt, but flashbang from Muterus has them retreating. Low on, low on smokes once again, up to the A site, but low on smokes versus an op is not very good. At least Fox is here, clearing out long. Yeah, won't be able to catch the kill to Sergey as happened last time. No, he's inside of the bomb site behind this great wall of smokes. Fox dies first, Alu bests his opposite opper. Five versus four to the CTs, turn three. We do have a player committed to the corner, and now that's cleared. Muterus dead 
and Roman tucked away. Zelen hoping somebody rounds the dice box, and well, it wouldn't just be one body. No, there's numerous players here for the CTs, but one goes down in Alexi B. Sergey trades straight away, and as the defuse comes through, that's an eighth round for Entz. The it's great that Fox went long and they addressed it at Strat, and they actually did have the smokes that left their hands, they just didn't see them. But when they landed on the site, that's great, they got the bomb down. The only thing is, Fox just needs to be the last one to die. Just let, like, Fox should bait a little bit there, take a passive shot if it's available, but not be out there while the smoke's dissipating in between three players, because he can only get one. Like, he's so wide on long. If he was just holding bank on a tight angle while the smoke was coming up, he gets the kill, and they have a hard time trying to kill him as well. At this point of the round already, with five alive there, they had zero grenades. They had one smoke left over. Um, but, uh, yeah, there's no way they could smoke defuse. They have to choose between long, and then all the riflers are strengthened. But either way, long is worthless if you die holding it. Damn, X7. Yeah, it's... Less kills than Alu, but Alu, it's those picks. The op finishing off these giants got to cut them down at the knees, you know? Mm -hmm. Get rid of that height advantage. Yeah, if you're fighting a giant, you got to punch him in the knees. Yep. You don't really have a choice, right? It's true. Yeah. That's how I would take you down. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like, yeah, like that's how the Sopranos take people down. <laughs> people forget you're freakishly tall. Seven foot two. Um, five foot 14, thank you. Ah. Sneak out from Monster Mohan. That seems to be the key. For giants, but they haven't got the oh. bomb. And they have lost the initial kill, but Muteris looks to overwhelm the B site, and they do. The timing is what catches it all off. Eight. Now, Fox, he knows he's separated, but he still has to cross, oh. and he does it? He gets a flash off, yeah. Wow. Full blind, but they still have short control. Yep. And the CT rotating it from CT. But the, C the, the T inside connector, Roman, if he just keeps their attention off of short long enough, then they at least get this bomb plant. And if they can overwhelm Sergei out of graffiti, then you have these last two CTs so isolated. I mean, that's what Kill Dream's doing now, just holding an Alu. But he's given him enough space to exit the short tunnel. Oh, he can delay for so long. Can he walk this op out long? Because that would compromise the terrorists on the bomb site so badly. Alu, ooh, can't best him. Now Alexi knows he is in a pickle, just like Sergei. Unable to get out from their positions, and with no time left over, they're just going to try to damage Giants. As Giants take their fourth round, still Ents will have that doubled, 8-4, but at least the Giants are starting to clamber back into the half. They can still close this out, close as can be. They have earned themselves a save. Alu has enough money to buy, but nobody else does. So, um, a very strong round here from Giants. Cool, they had that lurk to come out at the top of the stairs as the insurance policy. It's not a bad position for Enz to have short control. Water is so important, even if you die in the site. But that's there was two on short and two in the site, and two in the site died without getting a kill. So you really can't, you really don't want that to happen. If you lose two in the site, you're supposed to lose the round. And since there was two players close, they decided to try it just because why not? The artillery strikes thrown out. Deep frag grenades trying to clear out Roman, but it's going to take the pistols. He drops a couple, and all the while, Giants now shift into gear. Sprint to the B-bomb site, take their plant, and their inevitable fifth round win. Indubitably. Oh. Aldo makes the best of that AK. How many more are they going to take? Place your bets. Two more. Off the boost? Nope. I was kidding. <laughs> just kidding. It's just a prank. You can go ahead and keep the AK. They were um, they were kind of very flagrant with the way that they were saving guns and stuff. They didn't really care too much. It seemed like they were more concerned with doing Ooh. damage. That's a nice kill. Uh, Sergei doesn't... He's got two hands, but he can only hold one AK. It's a small boy. <laughs> small boy feeling really big shoes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know any other... Do, are there any other six, 16, 17? I'm just Frozen? Gonna say, no, I was going to say that it beat Astralis on land. Oh, yeah, that's true. Right? No, yeah, no. It's okay, Zelen. There was many bodies flying forward through short. He was one of the casualties to be added up, but Ents come back in with their buy. No longer USPs and nades, but full-fledged purchase, op included.
Again, many, many, many things that they can do. Um, and uh, the only thing that ends up doing that I'm wondering why they're doing it is when they fall off of A so quickly. Because so, Giants have been able to get them off of it and then go B and actually ro rock it back. But it was off of like one flash. So they're just doing it for so little money. If Ents were just a bit more adamant about holding on, they'd probably be rewarded. Especially with the fast rotates if they if it does end up being another B site hit. But um, no reason for Ents to be scared about Giants for sure. Muterus, so oh, Zell and everybody taking damage before the executes even happen. Softening them up like little doughboys. They're going to double back through short, try to emphasize a monster push. Four players charging through. Aerials, M41S, they're so blind, but he only gets himself one. It's X7 to go with the multi-kill. Double instantly. Oh. Third is his. And last man's Muterus coming off monster alone. Look at these T-Corps stacked high. Four HP, not going to be enough. There's Entz with the ninth round. Excellent stuff from X7. Beautiful movement off the flash. Get the two kills. Don't be too greedy. Stay in tune with what your teammates are saying. Hear the flash pop behind you after the first kill. And he's even refreshing his teammates' position. So it's not like he's dedicated to the spot. But totally expected of the frag while looking at another angle being useful the entire time. And um, is the reason they won for sure. I feel like the, the M4A1S with slightly less... Rate Slightly fire. lower rate of fire. Probably cost him at least that one kill there. Yep. At times, it'll get you. Oh, my God. The grenades again. Oh, boy. That's awkward. <laughs> Selen just comes sprinting through the grenades. Finds the totem pole mid-stack. But it's still not enough to bring this round back. Giants, two versus four. Aerial ready. Lines up the bodies, doesn't take either down. X7 low HP as well, and he's hoping this rotate comes over pretty quickly. The flashbang works. Alu delays the peaks from Giants, but still Kill Dream's gonna keep going. 2v2. Health advantage for, oh. <laughs> Kill Dream, one HP. 1v2. Damn, Sergey, you're gonna do him like that. Headshot's all it takes. Alu creeping around, he's got his pistol out. He doesn't, oh wow, he's not reading this correctly. Maybe he'll know now, but he can also get an AK, which is big. Will he beat him to the cross or catch oh. him? Just bare, no, he doesn't, but he's gonna hear the footsteps. He knows for sure. But he's not gonna be able to catch him, so yeah, now. Yeah, so he's just, he can go it's stand in the middle of the site. Uh, the thing is that he ran away, not anticipating that Alu could hear him. So he knows that. Right. So Alu could be pretty confident that it's gonna be the other other site. Um, based on how long he ends up walking. Uh, the full set of utility is going to be nice. Alu should have this dead to rights. He's got the position red, and Alu, done. Probably scared him <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> one bullet, one HP, and one more round added to the tally for Entz. 10-5 on the CT side here on Overpass. Roger that. Was looking really promising at times for Giants. When they, when they strung those three rounds together, I was starting to think to myself, like, okay, we've got a game on our hands, but it's back in control, I feel. And now it's ends to, to possibly just play with their food. It's, it's, it's all up to them to dictate pace as they switch to the offense. They did have uh, good adjustments. I th there's a lot of cool stuff they did. Um, and some quite complicated rounds. The calling for Giants has been good, and it's been adaptive. And that's part of the reason that they probably were, number one, able to stomp NIP on Nuke for... Uh, uh, in a, that's not a map you think they're going to win. Um, be able to meet movie star writers in the first place. They've been good on the fly. They've been calm on land. And all of their stars have been somewhat consistent. So I like, uh, like a lot of stuff that they're doing. Still going to be still going to be tough moving into the second half. But it's cool to see that they have some interesting stuff to talk about. They're not playing too rigid. And they're maybe sticking to their game plan in their head somewhat. But they're still being flexible. What are some of the beautiful plays we had? I remember Fox coming off of B ramp with a fast double headshot. Like, that's what we talk about, the stars aligning. All those op was on point. They weren't given as many, I would say, like fountain openings as they had hoped for. There was a while there where Ents were consistently going to the top of party early on. But A, you know, looking for that 5v4 advantage. Giants not offering it. And Ents, they didn't stick around in that no man's land. You know, they 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 did not hesitate to just retreat into the bomb back. site and play retake. They did fall back so easily, so often. Yeah, this 
Actually, it was a round they had to save after that, so very important 1v1. Went for it with the wide swing. Not really an easy play or easy decision to make there. Big round from X7. It's a gun round, too. Yeah, definitely some of the ways that Giants have win rounds in any of the games that we've watched is they're just, like, way quicker than people think they're going to be. They're, like, super brave about the way that they'll entry onto the site. They run out to B. They'll, like, run into lower, you know, cross outside, skip a bunch of angles. And I, and I feel like for a lot of the teams, they're, just, they're not used to a team kind of just not being afraid of them. So it yeah. is good that they're doing it. It's maybe not something that they can keep up if they want to consistently play at this level. But it's cool to see that it's working. And it's cool to see that they're able to keep our favorite teams on their toes. And I fear for Giants maybe starting the second half just because Riders gave them a run for their money when, when Riders were on the offense. And now we're talking Ents, a team that like we always praise communication. We're going to praise mid-rounding. We're going to praise defaults. And that's something that's going to play a, a huge factor into this. Their nades have been sick. Yeah. Oh, dude. So many good HEs. And, like, even the uh, incendiaries, once they dropped one in the pit in the pit behind B, and then they decided to um, bounce another one off of onto default. And those are clearing out two very important positions to help Heaven flush out people on the B site from a very tough angle. Um, protocols like that to show you how much they've been talking about the map. And this is all a primer to play against the straw, so they do win. So it's good to see that they're looking clean. Looking to lock in another finals. Looking to replace Navi as the second most successful team at Blast Pro Series. The first, second best team at Blast Pro Series. <laughs> For the third time. <laughs> Bomb plant quickly on the B site, but it comes at a cost. Three deaths for Ents and none for the Giants, who tower tall here in the second pistol. It's flawless, baby. Team ace. Clean stuff. People take damage, but nobody dies. They keep a kit. They keep four players with half armor into this next round. That's a lot of money saved, unless they upgrade, which they probably will, actually, so never mind. But um, instantly have a four-round lead. Good pistol work. Just tippity-tapping the heads right off. Alexi wants to throw grenades. No respect. He gets rushed down. Now Ents are found back with just some pistols. Quadruple P250 and Sergey with the Deeg. Charlie's Angels. Let's do it. Aggression. Lots of aggression oh. coming out of Giants and, well. First shot of the round. Yeah. One of them bites the bullet. Now Uterus out into the open. Still these rifles exceeding. Alexi B tries his hand with the Deeg, and he too takes a tumble. X7 1v4. Who is going to be on X7's death note? I say Killdream gets him. Little M4 upgrade. Zelen's going to be Tron back to the bomb site. And it's done. The Thomas gets the best of it. That's a seventh for Giants converting off of pistol. Three survivors is decent enough. But remember, Ants had so little invested. They're going to come in with a buy. Yeah, bomb plant in the first round. Everything else is just a bonus. No um, op needed or wanted. Uh, and it would you know, it'd be glass cannon, so they're not going to do that. And on the other hand, Roma's not picked up a gun. I don't know if that means Fox is going to... No, he's not even going to grab anything like that just yet. They know a buy is coming. They know that this round is going to be a buy round. Um, so they're getting everything they need to, but they only had to upgrade one thing. So Molotov extinguished by a smoke and a nade to replace that. Nice. And at the flash to push him back, honestly, might have been all part of the plan. They take a lot of damage here early on and short. Oh, peek to the side of the pillar. Zelen dancing with Ariel, the dance of death. Two go in and one comes out. But he'll leave the party early, fall back into short. Join up with the remainder events who still have a lot to do in terms of getting control at A. I think if Ariel, did they Molotov tunnel and smoke it too? That's like a lot of nades they used already. They smoke, well, they used Molotov, two Molotovs at B. It's a good reason for Ents to go B after hearing all of those nades. Um, really depends how they feel like um, Giants are going to adjust. 
Just roaming here from the bathrooms right now with the AUG. Flash is going to come out. 40 seconds up. Still these CTs, they are all at the B site. Yeah. And they've done a really good way, really good job of getting away from the threat. Roman's eventually going to have to call the rotators to come up. Gets himself a second killer, so he's just going to do it all his own. Oh, nearly the fourth kill. Back in with the USP. He'll fumble. He'll fall. But it's still the 4v2. All because of him. Alu in from long. Sergey, 3 HP. Trying to move this bomb closer to the site, and they've done so with just enough time. But no. Kill Dream in from behind. Will finish off the round and keep Giants within two. 10-8. A couple too many casualties at the end of that. Probably didn't need to re-peak with the USP to go for a highlight clip there, Roman. Be careful. Your teammates die afterwards. It's money you don't have on a round where you may have to save, but a nice clip nonetheless. And he got the uh, he got the dink off, and so he knew that there was a chance. Problem is, still in a headshot angle, so it makes no difference. You need a headshot. And it's a little bit of patience. Get some stuff here at the end of the round, but yeah, they, they work towards... The, the right site versus, you know, kind of just a rifle by itself, and they can't win. Nice round individually speaking, and ends are back on pistols. We are within two. Monka eyes. Deagles scare me. It's like a barking beast. You know they're out there. You don't want to be the guy who gets clipped by it. So don't be surprised if Giants just tuck themselves away. Force Ents to execute with non-existent utility. And we've got the double flashbangs, but so what? Long A. Malu takes damage. Does Muterus want to chase this? He'll find it open for the taking. In fact, Ents, they're going to double back down through connector into short B. We've got Roman leaving the A site, coming to bolster with his two teammates already dedicated here. It's the double flashbang pop. That's all they have in their pocket. Giants playing close, though. Ooh, he takes a lot of damage there on the pillar. Yeah, now the AK of Zelen. Going to cut off one, doing a good job of just mowing him down. No entry allowed. Five survivors for Giants now within one on the CT side. And Nip are up 13-4, as you guys can see at the bottom of the screen. So remember, if Ents lose this and Nip win, if I'm not mistaken, that's yeah, them in the Nip finals. Nip will go to the finals, yes. So this, I mean, Ents, they're giving Giants a chance here. There's a, there's a bit of sweat on the brow. Yeah, they, they still have to win this half. They've won the one rifle round so far. Um... But uh, Navi are no slouches. So nope. for NIP to be doing that good, it's also huge. Alexi tagged through the wall. Just Fox catches him with the Allen Iverson fade away off shot into bathrooms. Ortiz will follow suit. They are cutting noise completely and moving quite quickly. They've now skipped a lot of angles with the flash. Avoiding long control almost completely. The only other option is to smoke this out if they want to take it, but they've, they're going to know it's the setup yeah. here. They just is. completely circumvented long. Get their bomb plant in a five versus five. Alu. And they stay way back. Drops Fox, but Roman peeks out. So that threat of long A still in the back of the heads of Ents. They have a player coming in from Connector just to ensure that that's not where the flank comes in from. But Zelen uh. just drops Alexi. Maybe ex Alexi's assuming Ariel's watching stairs? It has to be it. There's just a gap in communication. That's not safe. Big error. X7. No clutch. <laughs> Kill Dream closes this out, and we're tied at 10 rounds apiece. Uh, flawed setup for a couple of reasons. Number one, nobody dies in the bomb plant. So they don't see anybody at A. And Alu gets one kill on long, and then immediately jumps out with his knife out. And if he was a tiny bit more patient, and it was 5v5, could have either got the kill or just gone around safely to uh, outside of bathrooms, hold for the stairs, rotate, something else, and then stayed alive and, and been a threat, um, a continuous threat. And then Alexi dies outside uh, long on the right side, but he should know there's no safe way for his teammate on Optimus to stare at the stairs. He's risking his life if he does that. So he's not really playing for himself there. 
He's just maybe assuming he's taking his own risk on his own terms. Okay. Well, it cost him. Gravely. But yeah. Ents. Could have could have had bad setup, just bad choices there. The rebuys in. Giants, well, they've got to be optimistic. Starting to rebound on the defense. Jump spots towards short, but because of the pace of Alexi B, it hasn't been spotted. He wants to catch him jumping in. Oh, there's a really good chance he does. Zelen. Whoa. <laughs> he, he definitely was about to do it again, right? Oh, my goodness. Play patiently. No spam out from Roman. Holding here with his teammates. Uh, top bathrooms and long. They're going to hear the T's doing a similar strategy right now. They don't know for sure if it's going to be the exact same thing. Roman looking to cut him off at the pass. And he's in a good position to do so. Augspray is in. Nobody here to trade because there's a flash to support his peak. He almost gets away clean. Oh yeah, still God. continues to be alive. Gets a tiny, final tiny bit of bonus damage. And then dies. And Fox from the periphery will hit an off shot. Rails Ariel's head to the wall, comes in for second servings. Now he's got to be cautious of long. That's where Alu will drop him, but they line up for Muteris, who almost clears the board. Giants on fire as they take the lead 11 10. Two survivors on this A site. And they got up. I I'm so shocked that that front runner on bathrooms from Giants doesn't die. Yeah, there's a. Here, right here, the flash Roman. pops. The flash pops. Ariel is blind. His teammate's blind. They can't even trade there. And he stays alive for longer. Doesn't end up getting a kill, but he still stays alive longer. And then they just kind of run headfirst into Fox. Nobody peaked long, I guess. They weren't worried about that. Giants on fire. It's, ins and it's insane. They've actually won three, rif ri three rifle rounds in this half already. We no doubt have a game on our hands. Gonna have to tidy up quite a lot uh, if they want to be a threat after this match. Um, if they even get there. Oh, that was close to How a on earth? It didn't even get one. It's not going to fall all the way back. And good job by Roman to at least cut down one player, but a good flashbang. Fox Ooh. just continues to repeat here. Confident versus the eco, and I understand why. He'll die to the Tech-9. And Alu upgrades into the off. 1v4 shotgun to the gut of Roman. Did he buy? Or... No, he picked that up off Fox. Okay. He just bought armor on this round. He had a little extra money, maybe. Alu's a baller. <laughs> no further kills for the meantime. It's a bomb. Can, yeah, grab the bomb. I don't know. He probably doesn't feel like he can save. So This is the question. God Alu or Bot Alu? Because he hears the jump spotting. And he could use that to just hold this close wall. He's going to go into the AUG. This activates Kill Dream's flank. And now Alu is just going to be on a silver platter. Yeah, sure enough. He goes down. 12th round for Giants. Seven in a row. Yeah, riding high right now. Riding high. From 5'10 to 12'10. The pistol... That, what they just haven't lost a round. Haven't lost a round on TCD side. Yeah, wow, that's that's insane. And like three legit rifle rounds. All of them for Ents towards A. They had been rounds where they skip uh, skip long control, go for bathrooms. They got the five v five plant down with a really sketchy after plant. That's one thing they did wrong. Um, there was another where they got uh, Roman got three hundred three and a half kills by himself on the yep. back of the box. No flashes to push him off. No way to gain ground. At least get a 5v4 on this round. Ah, uh, but Ariel instantly traded out. And no trade back. Zelen peeking by himself. Smelled an opportunity. Ooh. Muter is throwing flashbangs. All lose out. Doesn't want more of that. 
Flashbangs to top mid. Uterus with a smoke in his face. Isn't quite sure what is near him, but there's no threat in proximity because the entirety of Ents have shuffled their way over towards Monster. And as one train passes by, another one moves in. Three T's. Off Monster, a single player on short with very little health, looking to maybe just support with grenades. He starts to unload his belt as they do get one kill each way. Muterus looking to hold off Cross. Sergei clears the closer of the defenders, and now Muterus is looking to strike by surprise. Hugging the wall, getting nearer and nearer, he will drop Sergei. The last two T's have incredibly low HP. And Fox is here to support. He's swapping the op out for a rifle. Alexi, first contact, peeks into Fox, and now Alu has to do it all with the AWP. He sees the back turned. He knows the others on the defuse, Ooh. but he misses another crucial kill. And Giants continue this spree of rounds to eight. Oh my god. Are they going to pull off this upset with a flawless CT side? You cannot miss shots like that, especially when you know they're coming. Uh, that's... Yeah. Oh man, that is re... That's rough. Uh, that's another... I mean, again, it's flawless so far. And it's... NIP, 15 to 6 right now Bro. versus Navi. Bro. That game's basically over. I don't know what it means for them to get even just a point right now, but uh, now the, uh... there's a chance that this ends on either a loss or a tie for him as well. So, you know, that one moment's from being over. This one yeah. looking like uh, where where is Ents in the second half? Where is their T-side? Where is the... Where's the depth that we saw on CT side? And nothing special right now here um, from them on the offense. Not a single cool execute. Playing it simply. Defaults are not that thorough, but Giants are doing a good job of not giving kills up. And then, of course, there's so much more pressure on Ents. Giants are playing for the crowd, which is great, but no one expects them to win. Ents are literally just thinking about the finals, and yet Giants are here putting up this massive fight against them. Long control once again, and Ents are in that fishbowl. I, it doesn't, that doesn't really necessarily matter if they fake B and then go back to A. They are getting fully flanked, oh. and Sergei gets the kill. This could be massive. That's big. It costs him a lot of HP as he comes down to join his B players. Kill Dream looking to lock down Monster on his own. Gets oh. two kills quick. Rapid headshots coming off of it. Zelen plays the pillar, drops the bomb, and Giants do it again. 14, nine straight, not stopping, and looking to upset and deny them grand finals, Launders. Connor, if Giants had beat Cloud9, would they be in contention for the- Dude, they would have they would have, they would have they, three they points, this, six with this. Dude, yeah, yeah, they, they would be, surely. They would have nine points uh, at the very least. Or if they at least tied, they would have like seven or whatever it is. They would have been in, in the running up until round five. See, and that's, that's when the blast format, like in hindsight, you just think about it. Like every round actually does count. Every round in terms of, of, of competition gets calculated. Even a tie versus Cloud9 could have maybe thrown things into, into Bedlam. Mayhem, chaos. That's what we've got here between Giants and Ents. An unbreachable CT side, so it seems. And there's no reason to believe that Ents would finally crack this defense with just these pistols. They've once more been able to close the distance, get close to the A site. But will it be to their avail? Fox repositioning behind Dice Box. Muterous supports from Bank. Lots of targets about to present themselves, and he dies on the repeat, but Ariel and Alexi with Alu as well. The three combine. The three combine to clear the site, and there's no flank coming out from this. Zelen and Killdream with a whole lot to do. Gonna try to work back in. Alexi has the AWP. He's waiting for the exit from ramp. Very patient, peaks on his own accord, cuts it down to just Kill Dream, who's then dropped as well. So of course it comes from pistols. On the eco, they hit the best shots of their life. Of course. Clearly a pressure problem. Uh, not winning another round in this half, and they do it on the eco. <laughs> Clearly a pressure problem. But it's not as though this was like 14 for Ants, and now they finally at least get OT. No, no, they are still three rounds down in what has been a, a, a fantastic giant CT side. 
Giants, because of the $8,000 sitting on Fox, have cash to buy for those who have lower money. So Giants take a pause. Gonna have to cool their jets and reinvest. It's not much they have to talk about. They maybe led the tees a little bit too close. And then, pistols in the right hands can get a couple of entries when you're that close to a site, that's normal. Yep. That's okay, I mean, you can afford to do that. You're literally up 14-11 right now, so you don't really change anything. You just be a little bit sharper next time. Um, maybe don't let the pistols come so close, close or yeah. get a bit of info early on so you know they have pistols and then you're okay. It's one um, of the... But apart from that, they're back to rifles. This is where they know how to win rounds. This is where Ents have not shown us they can. Alu dropped a really important shot. He's 23 and 18. Like, he's actually doing well and yet um, missed such a, such an important shot in kind of, like, the late situation. Kill Dream, lots of damage early on. Ariel looking to strike. Don't know how far he's going to commit with this. Kill Dream over towards Monster holding by himself is low. If a HE just comes sailing his way. And both these B players working with the Famas. They've got a Molotov and a Smoke between them on hard mode. Oh, they're trying to funnel him over to the right side. That makes it... Yeah, it's actually smart from Kill Dream to cross back. Yeah. Get out. Get out while you still can. Looking to play that retake setup. One in water. Graffiti anchor with Zealant. And Muterus has already floated back up to the A site. Originally, he had come down towards B, but he's just been running up and down this entire round. Uncertainty sinking in for the Giants. But they'll have to hold off on B. Kill Dream, he's going to be completely exposed. Ariel creating all the space in the world. Muterus is going to try to clamber back in, but nope, not going to happen. The only thing they have going for them is the op shot from Fox. He is gone. 1v4, and Ents, with all the pressure on them. Looking a whole lot better there. Bam. Uh, Molotov to the wall, cleared out long B got X7 out without having to deal with Kill Dream in the first place. He was incentivized to move away, took damage early on. They moved methodically, properly into the site. Minimal losses, looked in control the whole entire time. Where was that at the beginning of this half? Executed too. Side of the head. This is a, a round that helps them basically tie up. $2,000 a piece for Giants. They couldn't hold B there. They're probably gonna have to take this one on the chin. I just need to know uh, what's gonna happen if this does come down to a tie situation. If at Ents, the very least. If Ents draw, then they're still in the finals. Oh, even if they draw? Yeah, okay. it had to have been a loss. Okay. It had to be an Ents loss with a nip win. Gotcha. And hearing Navi cheers makes me feel like maybe that game's not done yet. I just think I just checked the score. It was... Oh, okay, I'll check it again. We've got the USPs, full vanilla. Stacking up close to short, they're gonna be fed to the AK. Ariel's just gonna be um, in with one. Sergey clears it, this round's finished. Like you said, you're gonna have to just take it. 16-9 for NIP okay. on that map. So that one's done, NIP scored their three points. And now hmm. they intently watch this yeah. match uh, versus their competition. Um, and are cheering, cheering their hearts out for Giants right now, I'm sure. Um, there will probably be another round here with a save. Obviously not collecting the loss bonus after that series of round wins. This one will be tough. But at least it goes the distance. Giants took Cloud9 to the 30th round. See if they can do it versus Ents. Moving to the next round. At least Ents have diversified their playbook a bit. And their B take looks so good, so strong, so methodical. And they're using some of those good grenades. If I'm Ents, I work towards B again. I see if I get a kill on spam damage or HE usage. And if I do, I follow through with it. They're gonna buy. So A looked almost abysmal. And Giants have enough money to put together a buy. Okay, yeah, they're doing it. They can, they can, uh, they lose this next round. Well, they lose this round, they buy again. They could have saved one for the best buy possible. It could catch Ents off guard. We'll see how they respond here on the T side if they get caught off guard. But there's no op to really capitalize hard. Oh, 
Vince will be listening, hearing all of these nades being used and think, is this their early buy? How much money do they have to work with? Can we bait out grenades this round if we're going to go into a slow default? And how scared are they going to be? Stairs gets worked on. As they lock this one out. They find out there's no CTs here. Pretty passive right now for not having an op to work with. It's not going to be super flexible for them um, rotating out of the site. Potential triple boost here into the short water. And they're going to spot someone, but Alexi is ready. Nade to catch him on the fallback. It comes a bit early. Yep. It's going to open a huge door for the monster push. Unless Muterus can wrap around water fast enough. They should still be nervous of him being here, but the flashbang's meant oh. to help. It goes past X7. They don't anticipate him being so far out, but Zelen's still here with more damage done, but not enough teammates left standing to stop this. Ents gonna tie at 14. The triple boost, huge risk. And huge. it almost paid off. They had a chance, there was a small window of timing, maybe where they got up, they get a free kill. But instead, that's the risk you run. I honestly, honestly hate how, how risky it is because, especially on this rifle round, the fact that you can say there are three dog tags there on the left side of CT spawn, and you've got someone prepped in monster, there's not going to be a fourth right side monster when that's happening. And um, they're the victim of a grenade dump. They can be locked in with a Molotov. They can be spammed through the wood on their way back. And they'd be stupid to rush any of that process because of those threats. And knowing they're all committed to that back corner, and it's not even a two-man boost, right? Where there could be the threat of someone on barrels. Unless you have a four-player B stack, the entirety of the defense is there. That's why X7 so confident to come out monster. Oh. That's why the flashbang pops behind him and he wins his duels. Like, they knew they had to try and clamber back into control, but they didn't have it. Look at the way he activated. The moment they see that boost, X7 sprints from what was back monster to the entry. And he's the one who individually clears that site. So 14 rounds apiece, and with a better buy in the last round than this one, Giants are looking to, at the very least, tie. They made they made their choice last round. They could have gone for it, and then, oh, this is the double entry. Ariel's turning it up. Yep. Killdream's gonna be that last line of defense. Tries to get into the monster, and he slipped past. Oh, he slipped past, but still all who bests him. Alexi's gonna spam through smoke, and just like that, it is Ents in the grand finals of Blast Madrid. 14-11 after losing 10, oh. 10 rounds in a row, nine rounds in a row. Uh, Ents have pulled it back. That's Can't wild. believe we're actually watching that. That's impressive from Absolutely them. Absolutely wild. And to secure their spot while becoming on fire after losing nine rounds straight. That's, that's sickening in the best of ways. Yeah, it's tough to watch, obviously. If you're a Nip, a Nip fan, um, I have no idea how Astralis are feeling. I wonder I wonder what they want out of this. But um, Giants definitely put on a show. They gave it their all. They looked good. They still have a chance to just make it a tie for posterity. Um, but uh, Ents just bullying it to be this time. Have looked so much better doing it. Look at these flashes. So good. Yep. Just going to pummel their way through for the time being. Muterus, seven health cleared out. Alexi and Ariel once again just chewing through these Giants. Jax brought his axe, and the beanstalk falls. Roman flies downwards, doesn't even get over the railing. Ents have done it. What a wild way to get themselves into the finals launder. Six of those final six rounds belong to them.